And very shortly, the SRB retrieval ships, which are located 160 miles downrange, will be going to their terminal support point, which is about 7 to 10 miles away from the actual points of impact of the two solid rocket boosters as a safety precaution. Count the open loop checks complete. NTD flight. Confirmation that the range safety checks with the eastern range are complete. Copy four seven five two. Mark. Upcoming in another 90 seconds, the Milo tracking station at the Kennedy Space Center will switch from low power used during the early portion of the countdown to high power used during the launch. Also, the NASA test director will request that the orbiter's S-band communication system used for tracking data and telemetry be activated for final checks of the onboard radio systems used during flight instead of through landline. Transmit DSM-4724. Copy 4724. Mark. CCS, you can verify 788. And for step 789, transmit 4756. Copy 4756. The cockpit to pre-activate the orbiter's three water spray boilers. Each of these orbiters, three hydraulic systems, has a water spray boiler associated with it, which cool down the hydraulic fluid and auxiliary power unit lube oil and vent the steam overboard. During the launch and the orbital checkout and then during deorbit and the reentry and landing, the spray boilers are activated if the hydraulic fluid temperatures exceed 208 degrees or if the lube oil exceeds 250 degrees. The spray boilers are located in the orbiter's aft fuselage and hold about 120 pounds of water. Copy that, line 13. NTD LPS 212. Go ahead. 846 is complete. Copy 846. OTC ECL. Go ahead. I can give you step 879. Okay, very good. And I can give you 8, uh, 881. Standing by now to go into the hold in seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. T minus 20 minutes and holding for 10 minutes. Duration of hold is 10 minutes. And we have uh, confirmation that uh, the breakdown of the White room is complete. The closeout uh, crew will be leaving the white room in just a few minutes. Okay, OVCC, and uh, you're saying what now? What step in NOT 200? Early morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center. This is Mission Control Houston at T minus nine minutes and holding. The ascent team has been on console since 7:30 Monday evening, and tonight is led by Flight Director Brian Lunny. He's overseeing his first launch tonight. Handling communications with the crew aboard Endeavour is astronaut Jim Dutton, with astronaut George Zamka by his side, serving as the interface with Chief Astronaut Steve Lindsay, flying weather reconnaissance at KSC in a modified Gulfstream aircraft. The flight control team is monitoring all systems aboard the space shuttle along with the launch team at the Kennedy Space Center and should shortly notify the flight director it's ready to support the 21st launch of Endeavour this morning, the 30th night launch in shuttle program history. Just down the hall in the International Space Station Flight Control Room, Flight Director Bob Dempsey and his team are monitoring station systems as the Expedition 16 crew has just been awakened to begin uh, its day on orbit. The ascent team spent the majority of the evening evaluating the weather conditions at the launch site in the event an emergency return to the shuttle landing facility is required. The team also evaluates weather at the contingency runways in Spain and France. Presently, conditions are favorable to support an overseas landing if one becomes necessary during the launch phase. 
The current primary transoceanic abort landing site is Zaragoza in Spain, with Istris in France uh, available if necessary. The third uh, TAL site, Marone, is no-go for weather conditions this evening. Once Endeavour lifts off and clears the launch tower, its onboard guidance system will maneuver the orbiter to a heads-down position, putting it on the proper course and trajectory to achieve the desired orbit. At main engine cutoff, Endeavour will be in a 136 by 31 statute mile orbit. About 30 minutes later, that orbit will be refined using the orbital maneuvering system engines, placing the orbiter in a 140 by 98 statute mile altitude for on-orbit operations. The launch actually serves as the first in a series of rendezvous maneuvers designed to allow Endeavour to catch up with the International Space Station. Docking with the space station is scheduled for about 11.20 Eastern Time Wednesday night. At launch time, the International Space Station at an altitude of 220 statute miles will be located southeast of Perth, Australia. About 40 seconds into the flight, the three shuttle main engines will be throttled back to lessen the effects of the dense lower atmosphere on the orbiter. About a minute later, the shuttle will accelerate rapidly, reaching a speed of nearly 3,700 miles per hour at the point where the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate at 2 minutes 5 seconds. An NTD Once in orbit, Endeavour's three main engines will be shut down at the 8.5 minute point, followed just a few seconds later by the separation of the large external fuel tank. Eight seconds after the tank separates, new light will be shed on the subject with the introduction of the newest space shuttle modification, an electronic camera flash that will illuminate the external tank to produce 23 clear digital images for later review by imagery experts here in Mission Control. All continues to go smoothly here in the control center with flight controllers standing by to take over control of Endeavour at solid rocket booster ignition and for the remainder of the STS-123 mission. We'll head back to George Diller at the Kennedy Space Center at T minus nine minutes in holding. This is Mission Control Houston. All stations verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC is go. TBC? TBC is go. PTC? PTC is go. LPS. LPS, go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Mila. Mila's go. STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety is go. SPE. SP is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have a range clear to launch. CDR. CDR is go. Launch director entity. Launch director. The launch team is ready to proceed. Okay, I copy, Steve. Thank you. Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. Uh, no constraints, Mike. We're ready. Okay, Charlie, thanks. KC Safety and Mission Assurance. KC Safety and Mission Assurance is ready to go, Mike. Thank you. Payload Launch Manager. Okay, Mike, on behalf of our international partners from the Japanese and Canadian Space Agency, your ISS team is ready to proceed. Okay, thanks, Gennaro. Range weather. Weather well, has no constraints for launch. Thank you, Todd. And Ops Manager. The launch director, Ops Manager uh, Mike, the MMT is not working any issues. You are go for launch. Thank you, sir. Endeavor launch director. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, Dom, uh, vehicle's in great shape. The weather is go. In fact, it should be an interesting uh, sight for you to punch through the clouds tonight. So on behalf of the KSC launch team, I'd like to wish you good luck, Godspeed, and we'll see you back here in 16 days. Well, Mike, you just made people smile around the world, and you've got seven smiling faces on board here. We'd like to give a special thanks to our families, KSC's Endeavor whole crew, our friends at Houston and Canada, and for JAXA, we'd like to say konnichiwa, domo arigato, and banzai. God truly has blessed us with a beautiful night here, Mike, to launch, so let's light them up and give them a show. That sounds great, Tom. Thank you very much. Good luck to you all.